players if they do nothing. Not a bad tryout to toss out there on your, your bench. See what he does. Cut him for another stash if he does nothing on Thursday Night Football. All righty, that wraps up a loaded wide receiver waiver wire. And again, if you have Ted Tillman or Downs out there in your league, get the bags ready, fire them on out. But there is actually some really interesting tight ends. It's been a horrible season overall at tight end, but we're looking at a week nine waiver wire with lots of interesting tight end options on this week nine waiver wire. And that starts with Zach Ertz. I got the floor play and then the ceiling play. Of course, Ertz is not the ceiling play, but after seeing 31%, 13%, 20%, and 33% target share across his past four weeks, that's usage that very few tight ends can claim. And it's coming from Jaden Daniels, everybody's favorite quarterback right now, uh, an offense that is approaching the number one in the league so far. And the volume's great. The production, not that bad either. 10.8, 14.0, and 14.7 PPR points across his last three games for Zach Ertz. That's good for tight end 11, tight end 9, and tight end 9 across those three games. He's the tight end 11 on the season. Not bad for Zach Ertz here. Just continues to play. those. It's a lot of scheme related. You know, It's just wide open space, and Ertz is, is sitting there in the hole. He's a savvy veteran that just knows when to break his route off, when to be that safety valve for his quarterback. And Kingsbury's scheme has been very, very friendly to him. It makes you wonder, you know, if Ben Sinnott was getting these reps – I know he probably doesn't have the veteran savvy to know when to sit and park it quite yet, but that athleticism, I mean, he'll, Ertz gets hit and he goes down. He, he does nothing after the catch anymore at this point, whereas Ben Sinai is an athletic freak. Like If he gets this role at some point, he could go nuts for all you dynasty leaguers out there. But for right now, Zach Ertz, nice, steady, doing what he has to do. But if you want a ceiling play at tight end, well, look no further than Taysom Hill, uh, who routinely has three to four spike weeks a season that end up making him a top 10 tight end in fantasy. We've already had one two-touchdown day for Taysom Hill on just about five games of action so far. He's been dealing with a lot of injuries himself, but he returned to the lineup last week. He had seven touches, 11% target share, 22% targets per route run, has four carries on the day. And then we see Kendra Miller go down. Shocker. <laughs> Bub Means go down. Juwan Johnson go down. So now the Saints are without their running back two, wide receiver two, and their tight end one slash two. So Taysom Hill, they're desperate for a weapon behind Amar uh, AK-41. Um, uh, Alvin Kamara and of course Chris Olave they're going to need somebody else to step up and we know they love to feed Taysom the Rock so I expect against a Panthers team uh, we all know absolute smash plot for any position so why not the positionless man he can do it all and I expect him to have a huge day only 30% rostered you know, even if you're desperate for a flex this week I can see Taysom Hill being worth that pickup and just tossing him on in I wonder what his touchdown props will end up being on sports books. I bet you he's going to be one of the better odds to score the touchdown uh, this week. So I, I love Taysom Hill. I think he gets in at least once. And if you saw, you know, an 18 point blow up come out of him this week, nobody should be surprised. The last tight end I want to toss out there is Mike Gusecki. And he's last for a reason. Only 8% rostered. Did play 60% of the routes though with T Higgins out. So should he miss Another game, I think you could stream Mike Gusecki. He actually trailed only Jamar Chase, who had 11 targets. Gusecki had eight himself, a 22% target share. That's good volume from Joe Burrow. I'll take that any day of the week for my tight end position. Uh, so, again, if T is back in, I wouldn't trust Gusecki at all. But should he miss it, seven catch, 73-yard day out of Gusecki here, making some really impressive grabs on the afternoon as well. Eric All was mixing in there. So about half the snaps and half the routes of Gusecki. Uh, but he still is there, so it keeps Gusecki a bit capped. Nonetheless, though, if T is out, there is definitely some upside there for Mike Gusecki. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments, check out some more videos, and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below. Ooh.